With Bowser in the party, the three heroes made a most unlikely trio. Peach attempted to explain the quest to Bowser, but it made him grunt in confusion. As Mario walked ahead, he spotted something that made him briefly stop and stare. What is it, Mario? asked Princess Peach. Asked Peach as she turned to see the blue expanse ahead. The great glittering waves of the tile pool stretched as far as she could see. Fort Francis was somewhere across the water. Chapter 3 2 Bloops Ahoy! Hey everybody, it's Silvershroom, and welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we explored the Bitlands and added Bowser to the party. Now we're headed through the tile pool. And cheap cheeps, they're just the ones we saw in Globe Valley anyway, so it doesn't really matter that we can't tattle them. And as you can see, Bowser can breathe fire underwater. Because why not? I guess if Mario can shoot fireballs underwater, then this isn't much of a stretch. There are also bloopers here. They act pretty much like they do in standard 2D Mario. And a happy flower. I guess that still makes sense underwater. Coins, glorious coins. So, if you head over here, you can see that there appears to be a large whirlpool or something sucking everything down. But, if you flip to 3D, you'll see that there is a safer path up here. Not that you couldn't easily make that other path just by... Uh... Just by... Repeatedly tapping, too. So Bowser is actually quite good for this level since you can't jump on enemies underwater. go, and I'll take you out. And right here we have some weird yellow pegs that we cannot do anything about just yet. But we'll come back to that later. Because right now there appears to be a pipe completely surrounded by blocks. Gee, I wonder what we're supposed to do. So this chapter's pretty fun overall, but we're not quite at the fun part just yet. But over here, you'll see that there is a giant tentacle popping up. And you may mention a certain guide telling us about a sea monster that lives here, and the whirlpool just sends you back, doesn't damage you. So yeah, the sea monster is here. Okay. Swim on over here and go up. You'll see that there is another pipe up here. But before I go in it, I'll flip the 3D here because this chest has a gold bar. A gold bar worth around 100 coins. You can't even use it. Its only purpose is as a sellable Wait, can you use it? I'm not sure. Whatever. I mean, I don't want to end up, like, wasting it, so maybe I'll just try it off camera and then go back to the save point. Bowser can easily take out the spike cube, so... Yeah, if Bowser's fire plus him having double the Mario and Peach's attack power... Yeah, Bowser is definitely great for fighting. But he is quite slow, but that can be fixed pretty soon. And I guess Bowser could also be seen as an explanation for why the doors are so massive. He's like, they're like perfect for his size. And that door gets blocked off. We've got a bunch of enemies here, so nothing else to do but defeat them. One last blooper. And that makes... A rather large chest appear. How about we open it? 
Hey! In case you ain't heard, I throw a lot of girth around these parts. And I'm gonna check you out to make sure you got the weight to hang with me. Alright, let's start by checking that face of yours. Dude has shaggy eyebrows. That's not even kinda girthy. You get 50 girth points. Alright, I gotta check the girthiness of those clothes of yours. What's more girthy than a giant spiky shell? That's worth 100 girth points. Girth check on the body coming up. That's where the real heavy comes from. Look at this guy. Look him up in the dictionary and he's the definition of girth. A super heavyweight right here. Bam! 10,000 girth points. The sheer girthitude on display here is blowing my mind. There's no getting around it. You got heavy like I've never seen before. Any fool that gets in your way and you just have to girth him up. Love it. Smash and squish those lightweights. You're going places with girth like that and I want to come along for the ride. Yep, we have a new pixel. The ground pounding pixel named Thudley joined you. Yep, we need a pixel to ground pound because, of course, now it can unleash a powerful attack on anything right below you when you jump. You can even use the ground pound on enemies underwater. How convenient. With our girths combined, nobody can stop us. But you gotta get out of this room first, put my heavyweight power to work. So now we can press one and I'll jump up and ground pound, or if you're already in the air, I'll just immediately ground pound. If you use the ground pound on enemies, it has double your normal attack power, so do it with Bowser and it's quadruple Mario and Peach's basic power. And you can use it on that peg to put it down and that makes door appear. Now there's a slight glitch. I mean, it doesn't really do anything, but Bowser is big enough that you can activate the door while standing on this peg next to it and he just walks on air. I mean, I guess he's underwater here, but you get the idea. So now, with Thudley, we can deal with those posts back out, back in the first area. I love how Bowser just shuffles his legs. Rather large going through pipes. Okay, but before we head back to those pegs, there's a bit more to see over this way. And of course. Kind of surprised that doesn't damage you. A uh, random blooper here. Anyway, over here, there appear to be yellow lines. There's a drawing of posts on the walls from left to right, up, down, down. So gotta remember, up, down, down, up, down, up. Is there really anything over here? Nope. Just that. Oh, and the whirlpools are 3D. If you care. Oh, wait. Uh. I noticed something up here. And it's just a alternate path with some coins. Walking through walls. And we're back at the pipe. So, so that cuts in with Dudley. It's different if you're playing as Mario or Peach. And you'll see that when I upload that video of the alternate cutscenes. Yep, I'm doing it out of courtesy and not out of desperation that maybe someday someone will look up, uh, will uh, look up Super Paper Mario alternate cutscenes out of curiosity, and they'll finally stumble across one of my videos, and I'll get some subscribers. <laughs> Uh, why am I doing this? I'll go ahead and save again, just because. And the order was up, down, down, up, down, up. So I just gotta grab at this. And if you do one by mistake, just hit it again and it'll come back up, because that makes sense. Get that out. And do that. And that makes a door appear. forward. Uh, not really much here. Oh, except for those enemies. 
these things are called Bitacudas. They have quite a bit of HP there, but they're not too tough with Bowser. Ouch. Unless, of course, they go right over my fire. And there appears to be a sunken ship in the background. Go over here, and... Uh, that guy didn't get hurt. Is it because he's part of this cutscene? Bloop! Oh, uh, yeah, he is. And he leaves his face behind. Bloop, bloop, what's going on? And now... One of this game's greatest features. For some reason, Bowser is capable of flailing his arms like like a windmill that, that, that fast. I mean, it's crazy. Uh oh, and also there's a giant sea monster. With a red tentacle. Hmm. I feel like that was mentioned earlier, and I feel like it may be important. Hey, land freaks, how'd you like a tentacle sandwich? This is Big Blooper! Obviously, we can't tattle him, but... All, all he really does is block your way out with, with those yellow tentacles. And he'll, e he'll even block you in 3D. Oh, he puts all his flippers up to block you if you go into 3D. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, I want pass. So you can... You can... You can hit his tentacles with Bowser's Fire Breath or Thudley to make them go back down, but you really just want him to send out his red tentacle because that's how you damage him. Bloop, 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 bloop. No, not there, please, anywhere but there, then stop putting that tentacle up. So he doesn't really have a max HP, you just need to hang around and hit the red tentacle three times. Okay, come on. There we go. One more should do it. But as we near the end of this fight, pay attention to the score counter. Uh, here we go. And that's that. Bloop! As you can see, you get no points for defeating Big Blooper. What a tease. I mean... <laughs> you call that a boss fight? I mean, first of all, it was pretty darn easy. And... <laughs> Maybe that's why it's no points. It's, they figured it's too easy. So, nothing in here but the star block, which means it's time to end things off. Next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to move on to Chapter 3-3. See you then. End of chapter!